เม็กซิโกเมริโกเม็กซิโก So markets again. Markets, markets, markets. Conti reporting on the markets getting crushed right now. What's going on? Ah, the Donald. The Donald. Is the Donald doing the great short? Is Donald Trump orchestrating the big short right now? Ooh. So there you look back on this. So people look back on the YouTube guy. That guy working out of his mother's basement said that Donald Trump shorted the markets when it was up. You remember when the markets were down and he said buy the dip. Now the markets are all the way up, and they and they failed to uh, break out of the top. I'll show you what I'm talking about, and then we'll talk about Donald Trump's amazing. Oh my God, he's so fucking so ow, he's so fucking savvy. That was God striking me, right? I know you, a couple of people, God people, right? As God striking back, man. Conti, you're talking bad about the president. He got struck with, you got struck with fucking Jewish lightning in your ear, man. Dude, that fucking hurt. God damn it. <laughs> so anyway, I got to lower this. I'm a little deaf. <clears throat> so here we go. The Dow Jones Industrial Average. Let's 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 just let's do a little refresh on that. Two ninety. Oh damn, my fucking assets are going down, man. God damn it. God damn it! Look at this shit! Oh, fuck my fucking money, man! <laughs> oh my god, my fucking, my fucking IRA! Right. <laughs> so there's the cliffhanger, right? Try once, try twice. You remember when it was all the way down here, and Trump said, "Buy the dip." You know, this is all right, America. Buy the dip, right? The fucking market went back up, and now he's throwing in his tariffs. He's squeezing China. He's squeezing Mexico. Mexico uh, threat of Mexico tariffs. U.S. companies in the crossfire. We'll argue later if it's good or bad. I don't know. I, I think I do know. <laughs> the surprising announcement by Donald Trump, President of the United States, of an escalating tariff regime against Mexico is sending ripples through almost every economic sector in the U.S. Uh, <clears throat> pulling shares of companies that make cars, operating railroads, or selling anything with with produce. <clears throat> right, so. So Trump announced uh, Thursday that he is slapping a five percent tariff on all Mexican imports, effective June 10. <laughs> oh my God! To pressure the company to do more to crack down on the surge of Central American migrants trying to cross the border. <laughs> I'm reading this for the first time. Right? That's his. That's his logic. That's his logic. I'm gonna. I'm gonna slap you with a tariff unless you. You prevent people from crossing our border because I couldn't get you to buy the wall. So now I'm going to tariff you, and you're going to you're going to you're going to rein in your 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 immigrants. It's just it's just insane. He said the percentage will gradually increase to 25 percent, quote until the illegal immigration problem is remedied. Oh my God, what a jackass! I didn't think about it. He's he's trying. Trump is. Is using his immigration ploy that that's the, that was the problem, right? Wasn't that the whole problem? The whole the whole problem is that immigrants uh, dilute the the essence of America, take our jobs, right? Meanwhile, corporations are stealing billions and trillions. So the market's getting rocked right now. It's on a cliffhanger, and that was it's down two seventy five today alone because of Trump's magnificent. Magnificent mind. He's 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 imposing tariffs to get to get them to do what he wants. So let's keep your immigrants all keep your immigrants on you to yourself. If you weren't worried before, worry now, <clears throat> says Tyler Durden of Zero Hedge. Uh, so everybody's calling this what it is. It hasn't been China that has been the source of sudden escalation, nor Iran, nor North Korea, nor Turkey, who admittedly ge- gave. It a good go in announcing they may install S-400 anti-aircraft missiles. I don't know what the hell he's talking about. I, I don't know what the hell you guys are talking about, but uh, is this so? So this is the more tariff stuff, but here's here's even more. Right, I give you more. Beijing has reportedly developed plans for rare earth export ban. Ah, tit for tat. All right, so yo bang, yo bang. Trump, you suck. Trump, you you tariff us. We tariff you. Fuck you. Right, that's the Chinese, right? Chinese right out of Beijing is saying that shit, right? So the rare the rare earth ban, rare earth ban are used in fine electronics, right? 
And China is a, uh, we buy a lot of that shit, right? So Silicon, China is saying to, to Beijing is saying to, to Silicon Valley, fuck you and your tariff, fuck you and your president, right? And the markets get hit. Yeah. But was it orchestrated? Who cares if the market goes down, right? I don't have two cents in the market. <clears throat> but a lot of people, a lot of people, the, the, the power elite are definitely relying on that. I know, oh, no, no. This is Trump getting back at the power elite. He's squeezing him. Look at him go. He's bobbing and weaving, and the jobs are going to come back. This has nothing to do with jobs. He told you it has nothing to do with jobs. It has to do with illegal immigration, which, of course, the, the, the blind masses will say, oh, that's jobs. But it's not jobs. It's, it's not jobs. Your jobs will continue to leave, and, and you will compete with the, again, the analogy. Ah, I got to do the analogy again, right? The analogy is, for one second. The analogy is, is, is 20 people sitting at the table. Right? If you haven't heard this one before, 20 people are sitting at the table. And I'm sorry, there's 20 donuts on the table. I don't even remember the story. There's 20 donuts on the table and there's three people sitting at the table. There's a banker, there's a, a worker, and there's an immigrant. Right? And the banker takes 19 donuts for himself and he turns to the worker and says, you better grab that last donut before the immigrant grabs it. Uh, and that's, that's, the, that's the mentality of Wall Street, right? Grab the, right? So it's, that's, that's what's going on, right? So don't blame the immigrant. Blame the banker that took 19 of your donuts. Uh, so what else is going on? So the rare earth, rare earth ban, right? On <laughs> rare earth export ban. China's kicking back. So, so Mexico... Is throwing the, uh, you know, fuck you back at U.S. They're not going to tolerate that 25% tariff on, watch how much your bananas cost. You think bananas are expensive now? Fucking avocados are like, 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 like $4 each. A fucking banana is going to be like $3 for a banana. Right? This is crazy. This is crazy shit. But no, no, no. The president knows what he's doing. <sighs> so debt-laden Americans, <laughs> this is the solution. Look at this story, right? Fucking zero hedge. You're not going to skin off the ball. Debt-laden Americans flee country to escape crushing student loans. <laughs> uh, it's, the, it's the great white flight. Uh, remember that? Remember that, that saying? They, the great white flight was when, when a lot of white people left Manhattan because, because it was overthrown by minorities, right? And they called it the great white flight. Uh, is that racist? I don't think so. It's just it is what it is. It's what people called it. It's kind of like if a tree falls in the woods and no one hears it, does it really exist, said a 29-year-old who relocated from Colorado to a jungle in India to avoid paying $20,000 loan balance. I've put America behind me, said Hag, 9,000 9, miles away from home. Wow. Today he lives in a concrete house in the village of Yakakakaka for $50 a month. I'm telling you, man, we're losing, we're losing our people. We're losing our, you want to overcharge everybody. You guys want to think that draining some kind of swamp, locking everybody up, it's going to make a shitload of difference at all. Look at, look at the president. Look what he's doing. Look, look at, look at the leadership. Trump prompts protest um, with promise of new Mexican tariffs. Uh, protests, right? They're protesting. Look, got to fucking, uh, build that wall. Build the wall. Build that wall. Lock her up. Build the wall. Uh, escalating tariffs, right? And meanwhile, Julian Assange, the great, the great hero who told us about the corruption in our government, that, that they lie, they cheat, they steal, right? Is sitting in jail right now. Chemical attack, stressed out attack, right? being psychologically, emotionally, and possibly chemically attacked. Sits in jail, right? And, and, and the, the criminals, the real criminals that steal your election, the real criminals that steal your, steal your money right, right out of your pocket, right? they, they, get, they get off scot-free. They get another tax break. They get another pat on the back. Right? So enjoy your tariff. Right? Enjoy your, your very savvy, savvy American president who, who is he's such a business, business tycoon that he bankrupt four casinos, right? Uh, Mr. Trump, Marcus Conti reporting, become a uh, Patreon or uh, kindly subscribe to this channel. Marcus Conti reporting.